Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, great weekend. Um, got a ton of stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try and uh, do this really fast because there's uh, just, a, just a ton of stuff that I got this week. Um, let's start here. Let's got a bag of Dragon Ball Z characters. Uh, $3.99 at uh, Savers. Um, got a DS Charger, $0.99. Cents, Goodwill. Um, copy of Millborns is, uh, you guys are probably familiar with by now, uh, complete, uh, was two ninety nine in the hanging bag, it came with, um, Spongebob playing cards, um, next, I got, uh, there's a laptop battery for like a 2007-2008, uh, MacBook, uh, $39.99. I, um, actually, that's the computer I have, so, uh, my battery's been kind of weird for the past year, so, uh, I grabbed this. It still has all, like, the factory plastic around, uh, the battery itself. It didn't come and shrink, but, uh, hope it works well. And I got that Xbox 360 at, a at a yard sale yesterday for, uh, $15. Uh, I'm really hoping it works so that I finally have an Xbox 360. Um, uh, didn't come with a controller, but I, I have a controller lying around, so I'm not too worried. Uh, next, right down the street from that, I got this, uh, Game Boy Color. Uh, no battery cover, but, uh, $3 works fine. Um, down the street from that, I think, uh, picked up Mario Super Sluggers and Wii Sports Resort for, uh, $7 together. Uh, they're about, they're both about, like, $10, $15 games. Saturday, I picked up uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, it's kind of like kind of weird, like transform, transforming kind of thing. Where they have like this armor. Can't really do it one-handed, but uh, twenty-five cents each. Uh, Ninja Turtle stuff is always pretty good to pick up, especially the older stuff. Um, let's see, I got three calculators, uh, all two ninety-nine each at a uh, different savers. Um, I think these two already sold for forty. Um, this is a TI eighty-three, TI eighty-three plus. Uh, this is probably forty. This is probably fifty. Um, and the TI eighty-two will probably go for about fifteen twenty dollars. Um, next, uh, uh, Polaroid Express. Um, and a hang bag, and there's three ninety-nine. The uh, Handles all busted up though, but I mainly I bought it anyway because of this bag. Uh, Polaroid bag actually really adds the value. Um, I've been selling these for about fifty dollars with the bags lately. Uh, I'll probably sell this one separately though. I already sold another camera with this bag for fifty. Um, probably end up selling this for about twenty twenty five. Uh, the next uh, stopped at Goodwill yesterday. I uh, got Simpsons Hit and Run. I got Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I keep finding these, which is great, because uh, I keep selling them for about eighteen dollars. Uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. I think I think it's gone down a little bit in value for Xbox lately. I think it's probably only about ten fifteen. Used to be about twenty twenty five. Um, this is new. Um, Picked up a speaking math and a speaking spell for a dollar. Uh, the both of them for a dollar. Uh, this is already sold for sixty. Um, this probably won't sell for too much. Probably only about twenty bucks. Uh, I think I picked it up off a table that said free. I didn't notice until I was like driving away. But uh, I don't mind paying a dollar. Next, uh, it's just a pile of Scrabble stuff back there. I decided to try and get back into Scrabble. Um, I only paid a dollar ninety nine each. There's like four sets right there. Um, yeah. Uh, and then we got a Polaroid Pronto RF. Uh, I got that for free at a yard sale. Uh, it goes for about fifteen twenty bucks. Got a Polaroid One Step close up. Uh, got that at Savers yesterday for three ninety nine. Uh, I've been selling those consistently for thirty thirty five dollars for like a while now. 
Then I got a Polaroid Impulse. I think it was only three ninety nine at uh, Goodwill. Uh, so I had the discount card, so it was cheaper than that. I haven't sold uh, Impulse in a while, but uh, I figured I'd pick it up anyway. Maybe sell it in a lot. Um, get up close at this. Uh, picked this up at Savers. I think it was two ninety nine, three ninety nine. This is a Full Metal Alchemist action figure. It's uh, Edward Elric, the main character. Um, it's not new. Uh, it was covering a lot of tape. Um, uh, I'm not really sure the certain value of this. They're going online for around a hundred bucks, but I don't. I don't think it's that much. Um, probably a little bit less. Probably somewhere around the fifty dollar range. Um, at least on Amazon, they're going for a hundred bucks. Uh, I think eBay is more reasonable. Uh, but everything's there, which is uh, pretty cool. Picked up a copy of Grand Theft Auto V for Xbox 360 for, um, I think it was uh, $8 at a yard sale. Uh, pretty good. No manual, no map. Both the discs look pretty good. Um, already sold for 30 something dollars, which is a shame because now I have an Xbox 360, assuming that works. But uh, I have it for PS3, so it's not that big of a deal. Get this pile. Uh, picked up. Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for PS2. I uh, picked these up for $3 together. Uh, Kingdom Hearts is already sold, or Kingdom Hearts 2 is already sold for $11, so uh, I think Chain of Memories will go for around the same 10 11 bucks. Um, both complete, both look pretty good. Uh, picked up a copy of Sonic Heroes at um, Savers, and it was $2.99. Uh, this is finally going up in value. I think um, I think people are realizing it's actually a pretty pretty decent game. Um, at two ninety nine goes for around ten twelve bucks right now. Um, there I got a copy of Mario Double Dash at Salvation Army probably earlier in the week. Uh, it was marked at twenty. Uh, I decided I'd I'd buy it. Um, still they still sell for around thirty five forty bucks. Uh, and uh, the guy who got it out of the uh, the case for me. I was like, oh, no, no, I can talk him down for less. So I ended up getting it for 10 which is really awesome. Um, no manual, but, uh, this looks great. Um, let's go aerial view. Um, got a Yahtzee Deluxe, um, travel edition at Savers, and it was two ninety nine. Um, it was missing a die, but easy replacement. Uh, still goes... It's going a lot less. It's some for around 50. They're going for around uh, 30, 35 right now. Um, all right, let's get to some of these stacks of games uh, that you probably noticed. Um, so I went to one yard sale. Um, there was a couple loose Atari controllers and stuff out. I asked if they had uh, systems or anything like Nintendo or whatever. She said, oh, I have two Atari systems um, inside. So, uh... She asked how much she'd want for them. She said around forty. I said, uh, "Let me let me see them, and uh, I can tell you how much I I could pay." So uh, she came out. She came out with this box, uh, which I don't think I've ever seen a Atari box in person before. Uh, she came out with the four switch version, which comes with that box, and she came with the heavy six switch version. Um, the six six yeah. The six switch version works uh, works fine, but uh, having a little problem with the four switch. Um, the six switch can go from anywhere from a hundred a hundred to a hundred and fifty. Uh, I'll probably get around a hundred ish. Uh, came with um, just this mesh of controllers and wires. I have even more, but figured I wouldn't put them out. Um, in this stack of games, so uh, nothing special, but I'll I'll just run through them real quick. So uh, got Hangman, got Home Run, Asteroids, Superman, Batgammon, Combat, Bowling, Canyon Bomber, Basketball, whoop, uh, Football, Video Olympics, and Blackjack. Then we have. Uh, Skydiver, another copy of Combat, uh, 27 telegames, uh, Missile Command, Video Chess. This actually came with uh, the second bundle I'm going to show you, but uh, Star Master, 
Street Racer, Space Invaders, Asteroids, Human Cannonball, Outlaw, and uh, Air Sea Battle. Uh, I think it came with two more games. I don't know what happened to them though. I'll, uh, I'll just show you this real quick. Um, just a copy of Venus versus Virus. Uh, it's a manga. Um, it's the Omnibus. Uh, I think it's dollar ninety nine at Savers. Goes for about fifteen bucks. Um, it's volumes one to three. They had volumes four to five, uh, six, but it didn't seem like it was that valuable. Um, also, I picked up uh, a sealed uh, Pokemon deck, uh, black and white. It's Green Tornado. I think it was a dollar ninety nine. Go for about fifteen bucks. Um, Show you that Polaroid camera right there. Uh, this is two ninety nine or three ninety nine at Savers. Uh, the Polaroid one six hundred goes for about um, thirty five forty bucks right now. It's pretty cool. Um, swing back over here. Got a copy of Taboo. It's four ninety nine at Savers. It's in shrink wrap, which is the only reason I pick up Taboo. Uh, this version goes for about thirty bucks. Um, so not too bad. Um, Swing over to here. So those, uh, I don't know if anyone recognizes those. Those are cassette tapes, uh, all in shrink wrap still. Um, those go uh, for not too much individually, but big lots. People will buy them in big lots. Um, I think I paid about 15 bucks. There's about 40 ish there. Um, probably make about 30 something dollars. Uh, not too bad. I've never done it before, but I figured. Uh, might as well give it a give it a go, see if it works. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, I'll get to the Nintendo stuff last, actually. Um, it's another copy of Splat. Uh, sold that one last week for fifty. Uh, this one's complete. Hoping I'll sell that one for fifty again. Um, it's a copy of Pokemon Master Trainer. Um, it's a pretty pretty fun board game. I I think I still have my copy. Um, it was for about 40 bucks um, right now. Uh, there's a red box version, which goes for over 100 So if you ever see a red box Pokemon Master Trainer, definitely pick it up. Um, and then there's an orange version, which is, uh, I think it's a uh, different. It's, uh, uh, that goes for about 30 bucks, um, which isn't too bad. Um, next, we got a Wii. I picked this up for uh, $10 at a... Um, I had a yard sale on Saturday. It um, came with Wii Sports, came with all the wires and stuff. Uh, works fine. I already sold for about uh, like 55 ish, somewhere around there. Um, next, uh, just another Power Ranger sword, a uh, little bent from um, Power Ranger Samurai. It's actually missing a piece that goes here. Um, yeah, not too bad. I think I paid ninety nine cents or a dollar ninety nine. Probably get ten or fifteen bucks out of it, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, this, this is a great find. So I'm always talking about the Polaroid uh, with the white stripe. So this is the uh, Polaroid SX seventy Alpha One. As you can see there, um, this Bellary camera. Uh, it came with uh, it's like leather carrying thing. So this is uh, this is definitely a camera you want to look out for. Um, I usually sell these for about $125. Uh, I paid $8 for this at a, at a random thrift store. I was really surprised that um, it was priced so low and it was just out. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, just kind of looks like this. Um, so it doesn't even look like a camera at first. Um, so yeah, definitely look out for this. It goes for uh, goes for a lot of money. Uh, I think I've sold like five or six before. Um, so yeah, that adds up pretty nicely. Um, I think that's everything besides this Nintendo stuff. So um, this is actually the first yard sale I hit on Saturday. Um, it was right across the street from one of my friend's houses. Uh, she was also having a yard sale. Um, so she came out with some, she came out with Sega Genesis and some sports games, and she also came out with the Sen64. Um, 
I bought the N64 off her for $5. She said she didn't want it. She didn't really care. Uh, she was basically going to give it to me. Um, came with uh, WWF No Mercy, um, which actually is like a 8 or $9 game, which isn't too bad. Uh, didn't come with an AV cable, but it's fine. I probably have an RF or an AV cable kicking around somewhere. And a controller. The controller looks pretty good. Um, so, I was I was at the yard sale across the street from her house, and um, asked if they had any video games, asked if they had any Polaroid cameras, they said no. And then uh, a lady that was standing there was like, oh, uh, I have that stuff. I was like, oh, really? Uh, is this, are you selling stuff at the yard sale? She's like, oh, well, I live across the street at the house next to my friend's house. So uh, she's like, oh, I have all that stuff. So um, she went and she came back with this giant box. Uh, came with that Nintendo, uh, the gun. Um, there was also an Atari in there, but she said, uh, she like grabbed it out. She's like, oh, I got to keep this. And um, I thought that was fine. I picked out all the, uh, all the Atari games for her. And um, it also came with an FC Twin which is the reproduction Nintendo-Super Nintendo combo. Um, it, I don't know, I don't think it ended up wor working very well. Uh, I couldn't get anything to play in it. Uh, those reproduction systems are kind of cheap. Um, the, uh, the AC adapter fell apart in my hands when I picked it up, so, uh, yeah, I don't think it was gonna, it was gonna work out. But, um... Anyway, I grabbed uh, all this stuff for thirty-one dollars, I think, because I, I didn't have enough. I asked if thirty-five was good, and she, uh, she agreed. Um, and then I, asked, I, took out two twenties, and she didn't have change or whatever. So uh, she was like, "Oh, thirty-one's fine." Um, so yeah, I picked up all this stuff, all these games for thirty-one bucks. Uh, uh, it also came with Jaws, it's not gonna be in here, Jaws was like smashed pieces, so I threw that out, but, uh, yeah, so, Zelda Ocarina of Time, which made me think I probably should have asked if she had an N64, but, um, I can't, I had left before I realized, um, Super Mario Bros. 2, uh, Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, uh, 10 Yard Fight, uh, Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle, Tetris, Ice Hockey, Top Gun, uh, Life Force, uh, Shadow Gate, Double Dragon 2, which is one of my favorite NES games, uh, Team Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, Fast Chase Quest, and Pac-Man. Um, as you guys know, uh, Mario 2, it's about a $15 game, Ocarina of Time is about a $30 game. Uh, nothing else in there is really of value, um, Double Dragons can go for like eight or nine bucks, and TMNT can go for about eight or nine bucks as well, um, yeah, here's the, the good stack, um, a Donkey Kong Jr., it's about a ten, fifteen dollar game, which isn't too bad, Punch-Out, we got fifteen bucks on that, Metroid, uh, it's actually gone up in value, uh, it's floating around twenty dollars right now. Uh, another copy of Metroid, uh, Legend of Zelda, um, which is also increased in value. I think it's almost around thirty dollars right now. Uh, another copy of Castlevania. I've been picking up a ton of Castlevania lately. Uh, this is already sold for twenty-four, I think. Uh, Balloon Fight, which I've never had. Um, this one's, uh, I think, it's only about uh, ten, twelve dollars, but um, still pretty cool. Uh, Kid Icarus, uh, about twenty-dollar game. Um, I think I was the only one I knew that had this as a kid. Uh, and then the best thing, a uh, copy of Mega Man, uh, the original one. Um, looks real good. Um, this goes for about $50 right now. Um, maybe a little, little bit more. Um, I've never found a copy of regular Mega Man. Usually people have Mega Man 2, sometimes Mega Man 3, but no one ever has the first one. Um, so I was really happy to see that. Um, yeah, and I, I believe that's everything. So yeah, $31 for that, uh, stack of games. Um, and I believe, yeah, that's it. Pretty great, uh, pretty great weekend. Um, 
great bunch of stuff. Uh, really hoping this Xbox 360 isn't red ringed. Um, Fifteen dollars isn't too bad to pay for it if it is. Uh, I think I could still get twenty, thirty dollars out of it uh, if I sell it on eBay to someone who wants to fix it. Um, yeah. So uh, as I say usually, um, like, subscribe, comment. Um, and hey, we got through that video a lot faster than I thought we were gonna. So uh, yeah. Uh, have a good day. Bye.